Welcome to Building 101, the guide that gives you everything you need to become a better builder. With each episode focusing on a different aspect of the design and build process, these complement each other to form a complete guide to everything you need to know about creating mind-blowing structures and immersive worlds. Today's episode is focusing on architecture, realistic building and making recreations. Firstly, let's ask the basic question, what is architecture? Architecture is the art and science of designing and constructing buildings, structures and environments. It's the process of turning these ideas and dreams into tangible spaces that can be both beautiful and functional. Think of architecture as a giant puzzle where the pieces are the material shapes and colours that come together to form the spaces where we live our lives. Every time you walk into a building, whether it's a grand cathedral, a sleek skyscraper or a cosy cottage, you're surrounded by the results of an architectural vision and the skill taken to make them a reality. Architecture shapes our surroundings and influences the way we live, work and play. Now imagine being able to bring the same level of excitement and creativity to the world of Minecraft. By understanding the principles of architecture, you can turn your building projects from simple structures into stunning masterpieces. You'll be able to create functional and beautiful buildings that stand out both aesthetically and structurally. From designing your dream home to building a massive cityscape, architecture in Minecraft can elevate your building experience and take your creations to new heights. There are six fundamental principles of building architecture. These are functionality, proportion and scale, balance, light, materials and context. We've already touched on some of these in the series, but let's bring them together and see how they can all relate to Minecraft builds. The first and most important principle of architecture is functionality. A building should serve its intended purpose, whether that's a place to live, work or play. In Minecraft, the design of your building should reflect their intended use, such as providing a safe and secure home, a place to farm crops or a storage area. This means you need to think about how the build will work with what you want it to do. Look at your purpose and make design choices in line with that. A secure house shouldn't be made of something easy to break like slime blocks, for example, and a storage area needs to be designed where you can actually reach all of the chests. Once you understand the purpose and functionality, you can make choices that complement this. Proportion and scale next refer to the relationship between the different elements of the building and the building itself. Proper proportion and scale can create a sense of balance and harmony in the structure, making it aesthetically pleasing and functional. In Minecraft, you can use this principle to design buildings that look good and feel right, with rooms that are the correct size for their intended purpose, and with windows, doors and other features that are in proportion to the overall size of the building and to the player themselves. Scaling up builds can make adding details easier, but it will make Steve look very out of proportion. Balance is the distribution of visual weight within a building. It's achieved through the use of symmetry, asymmetry and radial balance and helps to create a sense of stability and structure. For Minecraft you can use balance to create aesthetically pleasing buildings that have a sense of solidity, shape and purpose to them. With evenly shaped windows and doors and a balanced distribution of materials and colours. Balance is what adds a sense of looking right to a build, where everything feels like it's in the correct place. Next, light. This is a crucial element of architecture and can have a significant impact on the mood, atmosphere and usage of a building. Architects use natural and artificial light to create spaces that are both practical and visually pleasing. In Minecraft you can use light to create spaces that are well lit, to highlight important features of your building and to create a sense of depth and atmosphere, as well as for functional purposes like preventing or indeed allowing mobs to spawn. The choice of materials used in building construction is an important architectural consideration. Materials should be selected based on their suitability, durability and appearance, and they should be used in a way that enhances the overall design of the building. You can use a variety of materials in Minecraft to create buildings that are aesthetically pleasing, durable and functional, with blocks like glass to prevent spawns, obsidian for toughness and copper to show the passage of time. Architecture should be designed to reflect and respond to its surrounding environment, whether it's the natural landscape, the surrounding buildings or the cultural context. This is achieved through the use of appropriate materials, colours and forms that are in keeping with the local context. In Minecraft, you can use this principle to create buildings or structures that reflect and complement these surroundings, with materials and colours that blend in with the environment and forms and shapes that suit where the build is. By incorporating these six principles into your building projects in Minecraft, you can create structures that are functional, beautiful and reflective of their surroundings. These areas will stand the test of time, can wow your friends and will provide a great gaming experience. 
There are a number of real world architectural styles that you can use for inspiration in Minecraft to help you develop your skills and to give you ideas. Here are some of the most popular. The Gothic style was popular in Europe from the 12th to 16th centuries and is characterised by pointed arches, ribbed vaults and flying buttresses. Renaissance architecture originated in Italy in the 15th century and is best known for its symmetry, proportion and the use of the classical orders. A little later in the 17th century, Baroque also originated in Italy, and this is characterised by elaborate ornamentation, dramatic effects and grandeur. Drawing on the past, Neoclassical became popular in the late 18th and early 19th centuries and drew inspiration from ancient Greek and Roman architecture, illustrated by simplicity, order and symmetry. The Victorian style was popular in the late 19th century and displays ornate details, steep roofs and asymmetrical shapes. Art Deco gained popularity in the 1920s and 30s and is defined by a use of geometric shapes, bold colours and new materials like steel and glass. Emerging in the early 20th century, modernism is characterised by the use of new materials like concrete, being highly functional and with an emphasis on simplicity. The Brutalist style emerged in the mid 20th century and can be spotted by its use of exposed concrete, strong geometric shapes and a rough unfinished appearance. In the late 20th century, postmodernism saw a rejection of modernist principles, with its use of historical references and a focus on symbolism and ornamentation. The contemporary architectural style is characterised by an emphasis on sustainability, the use of new materials and technologies, and an interest in creating innovative and unique designs. It often incorporates elements of other styles, creating a unique blend of old and new. Building realistic structures in Minecraft requires a combination of creativity, planning and attention to detail. Here are three steps that you can follow to start creating more realistic projects. Start by researching real world architecture and taking note of the material shapes and colours used in the structures you're interested in. Once you have an idea of what you want to build, create a plan. This should include the size and layout of your structure, the materials you'll use and any special features you want to include. Realistic structures in Minecraft often incorporate a range of different blocks and materials. Try to use materials that match those used in the real world style or experiment with colours and blocks to match the realistic look. Darker blocks work well to add realistic looking shadows. Stairs, slabs and other decorative blocks can create intricate designs and details and you can use vegetation and landscaping such as custom trees to add to the realism of your build. Pay attention to the scale of your build in relation to the environment around it. Use appropriate block sizes to create a sense of proportion and realism. Add small details like doors, windows and shutters to make the build look more realistic. Consider adding lighting and other decorative elements to create a more immersive experience. Including structural elements can tie the build to the real world and the expectations that you have, making it feel much more realistic. Another way to improve your realistic building is to make recreations within the game. These can be buildings and structures from the real world or elements from concept art, fantasy, films, TV, popular culture, other games or books. Aside from looking great, making a recreation helps you begin to understand the creative process and the design choices that have gone into the original. It ultimately allows you to improve your own builds by learning from others and understand how you can get realistic effects. The best way to get started is to research the thing that you want to build. Look at pictures, videos and maybe even blueprints. The more angles that you can get, the better it is to see how it will exist in three dimensions. Try to understand the scale of the build. Some slight tweaks might need to be made to the size of the build to take into account the Minecraft block size, but try to stick as closely as you can to the original scale for the most usable outcome. Understand where you might want to compromise on things like colours to achieve the shape that you want or vice versa. Go for the overall feel and then try to refine your creation. Smaller scale builds can be very tricky so start with something bigger at first to learn. Remember, building realistic structures in Minecraft takes time and practice. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things until you find a design that you're happy with. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please take the time to hit that like button and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in future episodes and I'll see you all next time on ADCraft.